Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this Pro Tools tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enable the note chasing function when working with MIDI. This comes in handy when you work with really long sustaining chords or notes. It'll give you a nice smooth transition between all those chords and note changes. You get a really nice decay into the note and it sound very natural. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas, please leave it below this video or get in contact with me personally, justin at wingsound.com. Okay, so I have just two simple chords played here with some kind of atmospheric uh, setting on my plug-in instrument. And one, the note chasing is disabled and the other is enabled. So in order to enable or disable the note chasing, what you want to do is go to where it says playlist selector, as you can see there, and then you'll see note chasing. As you can see, this one is disabled. And the second one here, which is an exact duplicate, but the note chasing is enabled there. Okay, so I'll play the first one without note chasing. And let's hear it. And really focus on the transitioning of, you know, one chord to the next and the sustain of those notes. So you hear the sound kind of drops out a little bit and it doesn't sound very smooth. So now let's hear the one with note chasing and enabled. So, you know, it's, it's very, you know, it's a small difference, but you can really hear it on the one that's enabled that it's a lot smoother and you know when doing these lush you know atmosphere chords you really want it to be very smooth you don't want the sound to drop out so you want to enable the note chasing when working this way you don't want to have the note chasing enabled when you're working with loops uh, within a sampler and you know you're triggering those loops because if it's like a drum loop or something like that you don't really want that to sustain out you know, you want your transitions to be very precise with drums because it's got to be on beat and things like that. So, you know, don't use it when working with a sampler and triggering loops. Use it when you're working with, you know, chords and things that you need very smooth transitions between those MIDI notes. You can always get in touch with Justin at wingsound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at wingsound.com.